Yeah. The people I dealt with had and we all know gamers are not having I feel so uncomfortable right uh, now. Yeah. We pissed off Lebanon. I have a take that'll get us oh, canceled. I mean Two, two, three. Oh! <laughs> that kind of hurt. We nailed it. We wow. nailed it. That kind of hurt. Um, yeah. yeah. Who wants to start the intro? Uh, thing that dude. We said? No, wait. Are we doing it right now? We're gonna do it <laughs> right, right now. Dude, all right. Yeah. Wallahi, Wallahi. Welcome in, babies, yeah. to another episode of the A Rabs Podcast. Welcome we did it. In, we That's, did our it. Yeah. That's our new intro. Yeah. That's our new intro. 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 You have no say in that one. That one rocked. <laughs> that was really good. It sounded good when we were doing it alone. <laughs> it sounds even better when we say it all together. I didn't say cameras. anything because I forgot what it was. But yeah, it's Wallahi. 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 Welcome in, Hababies. Welcome in, Hababies. Yeah. And then there we go. So next time, we're going to do like Wallahi, Wallahi, Welcome in, Hababies. Let's try it out. You want to try it again? Yeah. yeah let's All just right, start let's the podcast it. from this part. Okay. Ready? 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 Do I do this? Wait, who's Wallahi? Oh, I'll do Wallahi. Okay. Wallahi. Wallahi. Welcome in, Hababies. To another Bye. episode of the a <laughs> Podcast. <laughs> We did it. Um, another day of trouble. <laughs> another week of trouble. Not even a fucking day, guys. I swear. Every every time we go to film this podcast, things break, but it is okay because we are we're doing good. We're doing fantastic. You know. Yeah, we're, we're good. I feel like the week leading up to filming the podcast is a good representation of my mental health. How is your mental health right now? It smells like eggs. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, podcasters, that's an inside joke. If you know what the answer to that is, you can comment that down below. Yeah. Also, by the way, uh, before we start, the episode is available live on Spotify and Apple Music. If you guys want to go watch it there, listen to it while you go on your little run. I know some of you like to run. You're sick and you're freaks. Yeah. And the fact is, just go listen to it on Apple and Spotify. The links will be down below. Yo, we had a big thing that we wanted to talk about this week, and we were talking about it. We basically started the podcast, me and Frogan were talking the whole time. And uh, we were talking about the the gamer uh, the gamer article that came out. Frogman was uh, explaining. Oh yeah, to yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, we're g we're getting into that right away. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. I want to talk about it because we're gamers. Uh, we're gamers, and we have health. And you literally started telling me you were like, "Hey, dude, gamers are in danger." I was like, <laughs> "I was like, dude, okay, I've got a lot." That's of me. That's my I demographic. Like, I was like, "Why am I depressed?" <laughs> Frogman's about to tell me. So. For those of you that don't know who I am, I'm Frogan, and before... <laughs> don't laugh! I'm introducing... <laughs> Go apologize. I'm sorry. I apologize. <laughs> yeah, keep going. Frogan is a... Frogan, go. Frogan, go. You got this. So before I was a content creator streamer, I was a public health expert. I did my master's of science in public health. Uh, I focused on women's sexual and reproductive health, health communication, adolescent health, uh, population health and maternal child health. Um, but yeah, then I became a Twitch streamer. Sorry. Um, but I like to read articles to like kind of keep my brain chugging along because I feel like the brain rot gets to you oh, a dude. lot. Mm -hmm. Dude, as a streamer, I think you just get brain rot. I think that's like one of the public health. I'm good. I'm smart. You, no, your your brain. I'm, I'm, uh, no, I'm, your dude, brain is I'm agile, dude. I'm good. <laughs> I'm, I'm so sharp right now, dude. No, I'm like, not. no, your brain is wrong, dude. I'm sharp. No. Wait, wait. Hmm. I'm like a knife. One plus one. Uh, two. See, 69, he's, 69, he's 69, smart. Sixty nine divided by sixty nine. Me and your mom. Ah, well, I hey, hey, did it. Hey, <laughs> that's my fucking mom. Yeah. You just were okay. Anyways, I love her. So what was the article you were saying about uh, gamers? <laughs> Inform the gamers, dude. I need I need to know for the game. gamers. Wait, 69 divided by 69 is one. one. Yeah, that's how you're fucking brain rot. It took you that fucking long. You're such an idiot. You're like, I don't have brain rot. And you're dumbass. <laughs> you're right. I'm sorry. Your dumbass goes, I'm going to make a sex joke. What's the square root of negative one? Uh, zero. No. No, it's an imaginary number. Is it really? Yeah. Okay, yeah. well, I so failed. You're the dumbest I can't believe I fucking nailed that, actually. <laughs> I'm getting smarter in my old age. Uh, okay, this yeah. is good for me. Uh, I'm maybe, having a okay. good time. You know what? Forget what we're about to say. <laughs> Keep playing games. <laughs> I love that my friends are so smart. Thank you for saying that when you look directly into my yeah, eyes. Yeah, that's and not really that's disgusting that you did that. You looked right around. What about me? I love that my friends 
<laughs> They're okay. <laughs> <laughs> so anyways, I like to read journals to kind of keep my brain going. And one study that came out recently this last week is gamers are at risk for hearing loss and tinnitus. The what's, fuck? What's tinnitus? Tinnitus is the sound of ringing and buzzing in your ear. From what are they? Why I are hear they that ri- whenever Capri talks? <laughs> is that do I have tinnitus? <laughs> I think you do. I have tinnitus by proxy. <laughs> <laughs> so I wrote a bunch of notes on it because I want to give you guys the most accurate information possible. So okay. if you see me looking down at it, that's why I'm not gonna pull a fucking Gypsy Rose or read straight from my fucking paper. We have a lot of hate for Gypsy Rose right yeah. now. Yeah. Why are you so good. mad about Gypsy Rose? I feel like we'll, we'll, we'll get into that, but I want I want you to read I want you to read this. Okay, so a new study was published in the BMJ Public Health Journal, which okay. is like a big public health journal. Mm-hmm. Um, it was oh, everybody b- knows the BMJ. Yeah, everybody loves the BMJ. Yeah, weren't they? Then we fight them in Blow the motherfucking sometimes job. we leave, didn't we fight them in Vietnam. <laughs> sometimes we leave the the M out. <laughs> he just stole my joke. He literally he just stole, stole my joke. joke. You were gonna say I'm that? not giving you a high five. He stole I just your joke. Blow so. motherfucking job. Oh, yeah. did you say that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. She did. Oh, I don't listen to women. You see, this is a prime example of a gamer struggling with hearing loss. Because I'm the sitting lady. right next to him. No, I didn't. Bitch, hear. what's your excuse? I have three layers covering my fucking ear, and she I can still hear you. She does have three layers. But you've been used to the layers. I just put on this beanie today. I haven't had this for a it long time. It says cookies. It says cookies. A lot of people. It's like, nice. It's nice. I just, I, if you, the, for the listeners at home, I have a beanie on, and I couldn't hear Frogan. Okay? How do you? How do you feel? I, I don't really, I'm so sorry to do this, but how do you feel that your beanie is a direct result of literal fraud from your mother? What do you mean? Why? I mean, she's she got a package of clothing she didn't never ordered, and then is returning it wait, slowly. Wait, is that how I got it. this beanie? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I didn't. Know. Wait, yeah, wait, the, the, I, the, bleep this out. Package? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You remember that giant package that oh, she got? That bleeped was... out. I believe that one out too. Bleep the name of the store out. If you hear the name of the store, and bleep our mouths. It's if you didn't hear it. Thank you. Yeah, she's been returning the clothes to that store. <laughs> Wait, she's been successful and she's been, with it. Yeah, she, that's how she got that that uh, that that titanium looking thing on you too, <laughs> the Tin Man suit, and then also got that Just beanie. Move, move on. <clears throat> move yeah, on. we can move on. Okay. I'm so sorry. Please continue. So it was a recent study published in the last week in the BMJ Public Health Journal. Uh, so basically, what it did is it reviewed multiple other research that has been done in the past. It was 14 studies from uh, Europe, Asia, North and South America. And it was a total of 14 studies with a population of 54,000 people in it. Mm -hmm. That's a lot. And it basically did uh, a review of all the data combined. The bad thing about it, so if you're not in research, it's best for data to be within five years Mm -hmm. to use it as a reliable source. Uh, The data points in this start from the 90s, which is not good. And only two have been done within the last 10 years. So I was... Literally, when you started talking about this study, I was legitimately thinking that we're talking about like Call of Duty nerds. Kind of, yeah. But like, if it started in the 90s, what were they playing? Doom at full blast? It was like arcade games and like joystick games and shit like that. Yeah. So, the reason why this study is so important because it's going to start a discussion of potential health impacts of gaming, and we need more research on it, which I'll talk about later on. Yeah. And what we can do about it. Um, so just a little context. So basically the level of sound is called a decibel and I'm reading the paper here. So we call them DBs. Yeah. DBs, bitch. So from <laughs> you rap look at me with such a thing. <laughs> Why? Just shut up. You know? <laughs> you know what I love? I love Capri trying to mansplain my field. Yeah. <laughs> she has notes right here. I wasn't mansplaining. I was just trying to make a joke. And to be honest, your field isn't hearing. Loss. It's public health. But it is public health. And I'm a gamer and I have hearing loss, so you're treating me like this. Oh, you know true. what? If anybody is deserving of ableism, it's you. Okay. Well, anyways, I, okay. 40 <clears throat> hours of eight sounds at 80 decibels is a week is th- what you should be exposed to. 40 hours of 90 decibels a week and one hour and 15, min- 15 minutes of 95 decibels. And for children, it's lower. Wait, do you get like an allotted amount of decibels? Kind of yes. like XP, like your health mm-hmm. goes down on yeah. decibels? Listen, have you ever put your AirPods in and you get that notification, like two songs, and they're like, uh-oh, you exceeded your weekly limit? Sometimes. I get that shit every day. No, do I you? don't get like a mm-hmm. weekly limit thing. Yeah, there's a setting. You ignored your. You ignored it. Yeah. You turned it off. I just pretend it doesn't exist because I like listening to my music loud. Mm-hmm. Why but does it sound better loud? 
Exactly. It just well, sounds, it doesn't sound better. It loud. sounds so much better loud. When you listen to it low, you just feel like you're not doing what is anything. The, what does is, what is the sentence to say about it sounding better loud? Yeah, yeah I need you to look at that paper. <laughs> yeah, what does the paper say about that. it sa- sounding what is better it, loud? Hey, do some Googling on that paper. Tell me what it says All about right, it sounding second. better loud. Yeah. yeah what is <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, but the crazy thing is, in 2022, it was estimated that 3 billion people worldwide considered themselves gamers. That's about a third of the world population. How are these um, three billion? I, I'm, Is that I'm, gonna crazy? Say, I'm gonna say this with all due respect. How are people in the third world gaming? <laughs> what do you mean? I don't know, man. When I went to Lebanon, I couldn't get an Xbox game for the life of me. I'm, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, that's true. They're, well, they're know? living real life Call of Duty. So, <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> so, what's the purpose? You know what I mean? <laughs> Yo, Israel called in the fucking airstrike. <laughs> UAV. <laughs> I, mean, I got six skins. <laughs> <laughs> That's horrible. <laughs> I did oh say boy. who said that. Frogan did. Frogan said that mm-hmm. one. Yeah. I sat here. I'm I'm sitting here spilling out valuable information while you're talking about the KDAs of the idea. <laughs> it's not good. I'm not gonna lie because if they're trying to aim for civilians, they would have lost the game a long time ago. You yeah, know they would. They would have lost. Yeah, Friendly their KDA fire. is bad. Yeah, I'm gonna be honest. Their Even if they were playing Assassin's Creed, there's a little thing that comes up that says uh, NCO did not murder civilians. Yeah, yeah so yeah, the IDF yeah. would have lost. The <laughs> yeah. Well, theirs is the IDF does murder civilians. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, we keep going. Anyways. <laughs> As gamers, this was a gaming moment, you know. You're gonna, you're about to make me have a fucking heated gamer moment in this bitch. If you don't want <laughs> to talk. Say a slur. Oh, she's about slur. to say a slur. Editor, bleep me out for no reason. I'm not gonna say a any bad word. Just bleep me out right here. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Uh, uh, wow. I can, <laughs> <laughs> I can only think about bad words. I can only think about bad words. I can only think of bad words. Don't bleep it out, editor. I can, only think of, I can only think of bad don't words. Don't bleep it out. All right. Don't bleep it out. Leave it in. Let's continue. Okay. <laughs> okay. And. On top of a third of the world basically being considered gamers, uh-huh. the average person plays about three hours of video games a week. But I know you damn well, you motherfuckers play more than three hours a week. And people on Twitch, too. Like, if you're a gamer on Twitch, you're playing more than three hours. I can fucking knock out three hours of Fortnite. In three hours. She just is so <laughs> oh, What the fuck was she that? Just just Bro, you had a hearing loss. I think you got <laughs> She I couldn't can, hear herself. Hey, the fastest way I could knock out Fortnite is in three no, hours but, and listen, three hours. Listen, no, like whenever you're streaming Fortnite, like you could get six hours in and it doesn't feel like any time. You know what I mean? Yeah, she's saying she can knock out three hours every day yes. at least. Yeah. No, she said I could knock out three hours of Fortnite in three I got hours. You, though. Thank you. I got you. I got you. You're saying what this she was saying. This is why you're the average. He's friend. mansplaining. He's telling you what you meant to say. He's dumbing it down for you because apparently you can't understand oh it. Oh my god. That, this yeah, is... I don't think it's mansplaining when I'm talking to 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 you. <laughs> why? <laughs> okay. I'm on dangerous territory. Can, can right I be? Now. Can I be honest? I'm no. Okay. I'm loose. continuing my. No. Shit. No. Hold on. Hold on. Before you get that, I don't think I game three hours in a week. So I think that you don't I, have time, and you don't have time either. But I still make time. Period. He does game. You game. You game. A I, I'm, I'm a gamer. gamer. You are a gamer. You are a gamer. Okay. Well, no. Tell us. So, what do we do to fix this? <laughs> no, no, no. Tell, her, tell us the stats before. Yeah. We go out. Are we not done with the no. stats? No, there's oh, a lot of stats. There's so it's many like stats. Oh, okay. I'm so sorry. Continue. So, like I said, this is a review of 14 combined studies. So mm-hmm. each different studies found different things, right? What do they call it when it's a review, like of all of them? There's I forgot the name of it. Okay, but you did. Uh, yeah, a journal. Point. What an expert, Raph. You know what I'm saying? Stop. <laughs> she goes. It's there. a literary analysis. <laughs> Beautiful. I like it. Okay. So some studies found that in four shooters, the noise levels average between 88.5 and 91.2 decibels, which, as we talked about before, you can only have four hours of 90 decibels a week. And one hour, 15 of 95. Okay, but how does that work if it's coming out of different audio interfaces? Okay. Uh, Studies also found that impulse sounds, which are like short, loud bursts of sounds, like shooting in games, uh, reach 119 decibels. And if you're playing a shooter, that's the entire fucking game. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's mostly shooting. Um, So in some of the studies, they found a correlation between gaming and hearing loss, while some of it was linked to tinnitus. So, yeah, like I said before, it's buzzing and ringing in the air. Okay. I have so many notes, chat. Don't you don't understand? Who's chat? Who's chat? Oh, <laughs> editor, come come to my close up really quick. Okay, thank you. 
<laughs> Just so the viewers at home. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah we, uh, Frogan is such a Twitch streamer. She thinks people are watching live right now, but this is pre-recorded. Yeah, she went. To, she parasocial to another level. With yeah. you guys. Actually, we do premiere the podcast every Wednesday on on YouTube. That's true. And so, technically, hey chat, say what's up down below. Say what's up. Okay. Sorry. Keep going. Okay. So, uh, what? So what? <laughs> no, keep going. Keep going. Um, more notes. So those are the stats. Basically, okay. some of the studies linked it to hearing loss and some of it linked it to tinnitus. Mm -hmm. But like I said before, um, only two studies were published within the last 10 years. Okay. And for good data, it needs to be within the last five. Um, what does that mean? Like good data, though? Like it's just like. So let's say you're relevant? writing. Your, like, let's say you're writing your master's thesis, for example. OK. Uh, the only time you could use data from like, let's say. 2014 okay is if it's an under-researched topic which gaming addiction and gamers in general are really under-researched so that's why they used research from the 90s yeah like i would i would like ask the question like do gamers have worse eyesight do gamers have like worse life expectancy do we have any studies on that so i have a theory okay about a streamer okay dr k Oh, I thought you were looking at you. No, said streaming. You looked at me. I thought I was gonna die. I, no, I have a. <laughs> I thought I thought you were gonna tell me I have five days to live. I'm like, what? No. Like, what a horrible time I to find out. I have a theory out. about a streamer. Every every time we record, <laughs> something bad happens. <laughs> no, I have a theory about Dr. K. So he specializes uh, with mental health and Dr. gamers. Dr. K is Dr. Ketamine, by the way. Uh, great for you. <laughs> no, like mental health and gamers addiction, yeah. and he's a Harvard psychiatrist. Mm -hmm. And my theory is he's trying to gather research to help advance the research here's the thing though i tried emailing for like um so whenever you are in research you have to do something called an irb mm -hmm. which basically gives yeah that's when you have or like an upset tummy no it's whenever you basically <laughs> i thought you spoke arabic there for a second no irb, IRB. oh IRB. The the i thought she said rb so <laughs> <laughs> where's the beat <laughs> Every <laughs> research, we have to do an Arby's. <laughs> uh, an IRB. Yeah, I just wish IRB. I could talk about my topic without being interrupted <laughs> oh one God. time. I swear to God. <laughs> Institutional <laughs> Review Board, which makes gotcha. sure the research is ethical. Mm -hmm. I fucking emailed him. I was like, hey, can you send me your IRB? Because I wanted to see because it seemed kind of sus to me. And I just want to see if he's doing research on it. Okay. Because he has no studies published. Okay. And... Whenever you get, whenever you're a published researcher, you're at the top of your field. It's really hard to get published. So you think he's he's fake? I don't think he's fake. I just think he's uh, doing research on it, and I'm just curious to see like the data that'll come out. But it relates to this because, like I said, only two studies in the last ten years, and these measured video games and ga levels of gaming centers, which are like Asian arcades. So. What? It's not outdated. Okay. It's like, okay. like outdated. Asian arcades or yeah. just any arcades no, like, in general? Like gaming centers in Asia. These are Asian studies. Oh, okay. Oh, Asian yeah, studies. the way you yeah. said it, it made me feel better. I was better like, what's the difference between an Asian arcade <laughs> no, 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 and no. boomers <laughs> or, you know? <laughs> um, the white arcades don't yeah. go as hard. Fun know? spot. Yeah. Oh, the Arab arcades? Fun Depot. Crazy. Yeah. So with every research, um, Every article ends their research with, oh, like every this topic should be more research because we don't have anything on it. So we need to focus on prioritizing intervention to decrease risk for gamers. And we need to research more to make a more strong connection between gaming and hearing loss and tinnitus. Can I be honest with you? Yeah. This kind of just sounds like, and stay with me on this mm -hmm. one. This kind of just sounds like you don't want me to fucking game. <laughs> yeah. You sound you kind of sound like a you're being you sound a like kind of you kind of sound like a jealous girlfriend. Yeah. He plays games too much, and then you come up to me like it's gonna hurt your hearing. You were Jewish in that situation. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> in this scenario, in this scenario, you were you were a Jewish mother. Okay. It's gonna hurt your hearing, and then I, I'm like, ah, oh, mom, I just want to play games. She's like, ah, but your ears. I this doesn't sound like okay. you are good okay. faith on this one. I. I'm on Frogan's side on this one, all right? Finally, we're on the same side? She doesn't want to be on my side. Uh, I'm on Raph's side. Then. <laughs> I agree with Raph. You're they being a buzzkill. always kill. come back. Yeah, they always come back. No, no, you're calling me a buzzkill, but there are ways you can uh, game how, safely. How do you game safely? How do you game, safely? game safely? So, 
first advice. Okay. Get noise canceling headphones, but we don't damn fucking well. Those are what not is, gonna. Wait, what is noise canceling headphones? Because they're like, so the theory of these fucking. Okay, listen. My issue with public health is there's a lot of fucking boomers in here. Mm-hmm. Okay. They think if you have noise canceling headphones, you're not gonna have your shit loud. I like my shit loud, even if it's a quiet fucking wait, room. So. So they want you to get noise canceling headphones because they think that if you have no other surrounding sounds, you're gonna keep your volume at like a normal level. Oh my god, that is the dumbest thing I've ever heard. I know, that is isn't such it? A, yeah, isn't that really such a stupid. boomer take? Okay, boomer. Yeah, okay, boomer. <laughs> get, um, get those headphones that make the room quieter yeah. so you don't have to turn No, up literally, the that's your theory. Uh, they want to take it's they want you to take breaks mm-hmm. and give your ears five minutes an hour of like <laughs> <laughs> Bro, what am I supposed to do? Put them in the corner of the box and put like, a little like, towel on them and then spray <laughs> spray their little <laughs> He's putting Vaseline no, on them, <laughs> icing them. Habibi, please, please. Take a sleep. Take a sleep. <laughs> take a break, Mister Ear. And, you and need the to only, not stop hearing. The only one that makes sense is turn your volume down. Uh, fifty fifty percent volume is the benchmark. <laughs> yeah, all right, bro. I'm not yeah, all right. Oh, I can't hear it. I can barely hear you. You're right next yeah, to me. Yeah, dude. I heard I you need to turn you so up. You're at fifty percent right now. Listen, I'm so toxic. I literally have the volume booster extension on Google Chrome, and I listen <laughs> yes, to so it. Do I. Like 20, I don't because I care about my ears. You do not care about your ears. You mm-hmm. don't. Uh, but they said, make sure to turn down special effects and shooting sounds in music in game. So what do you do? You go in, okay. I turn off the music and when I game, I don't want to hear the fucking music. I want to hear. Too. I want to hear the motherfuckers walking in on me. Why are you looking at me like that? Scooter's just looking at me like so inquisitive, like. Yeah, I turn off the music in Why would the music too? be off? This is why, okay? For everyone at home, this is why. You're playing a shooter, someone's walking in on you, and, you, and you're listening to... I don't hear that shit. But if I hear nothing, I'm like, oh, motherfucker, I got you. Why did I get you? No music. Listen, not only do I have visual... So you're a cheater. I have visual... It's not cheating. <laughs> You're cheating. That's not cheating. No, You're I'm a cheater. a cheater in Fortnite. I have visual effects on so I can see people walking and shit, and I have the volume on full blast. Wait, what? What? Yes. What do you mean you have visual effects on you so you can see people and walking? So whenever people are walking here, you see footprints. If you see shooting, it shows you the direction. You're using death set. Well, I that's... know I am. I literally am. <laughs> that's ableist. No, it's yeah. not. You're taking it away from my people. It's based. <laughs> that's commonplace for uh, Fortnite pros now. It's Fortnite commonplace? Is... It... Everyone no, it, listen. Everyone, they added it, everyone uses it. Oh, really? I use it. That's ableist. It's that's, all ableist. I love it. But yeah. So Do you also play with the colorblind settings just to see what it's like? To get a taste of what that's like? I'm it doesn't, not, I'm it not doesn't a man. help you to have okay. the colorblind settings. I'm not a Everything's man. Everything's just brown. It kind of does. Yeah. No, it's yellow. Oh, interesting. Okay, but here here's the deal. Is it, we, we talked about the hearing impairment, but is there any other things about, like, is there any other research that you know through, like, your tenure and all your stuff that you've done through uh, public health that ex- like uh, any other things about gamers that they should know. Like, you all suck. <laughs> yeah. Gamers are toxic. Can I be honest? The population. <laughs> hold on. Wait, gamers from, are toxic. from my personal research, yeah. the people I dealt with had sex and we all know gamers are not having sex. Okay. I focused on a birth control study. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I had a trauma response to the alarm. Broke it hurt. Broke it hurt. Producer Scooty's alarm and goes, <gasps> Do I have a test? <laughs> it's like, Do I have to wake up right now? I have to wake up. Do you guys have songs so. on your phone that you have to, like, when you hear it, like, fucks you up for, like, a little yeah, bit? Yeah, that sound. Really? Yeah. Is that your alarm sound? Yeah. Like, you know what mine is? What? Dearly Beloved by Kingdom Hearts. Ooh. The Sing intro it. one. Yeah, Dearly Sing Beloved. Boom, 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 boom. No, no, that's Sanctuary. That's Sanctuary. That's Sanctuary. No, no, no. Dearly Beloved is... And when I hear that, I think I have to be up for some shit. And it fucks me up. It really does fuck me up. Yeah, so that that's like my PTSD like trigger. The do you think gamers are fucking less than normal people? Yes. Oh. Really? Why? Because they're too busy playing games. Because they can't deaf. hear. How are they supposed to talk to a woman if they can't hear? No, what dude, she's saying. I honestly, it's the tinnitus. It's the tinnitus. I honestly feel like there's there's like an entire generation of gamers that 
I don't know if it's gamers that are not having sex. I think that people are just using games as a coping mechanism to deal with the fact that we're all fucked and like people don't make as much money as they used to and houses are too expensive. So like a lot of people, I was watching, this is what I was talking to you guys about earlier. I was watching, I found a TikToker that was talking about how <clears throat> millennials and Gen Z are basically on the same trajectory because like when I, Gen Z, millennial, cusper, like you're right in the I'm middle. I'm a cusper. You're not a cusper. Yes, I am. No, you're 20. You're 26. white like cusper. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god dude zinger dude i'm a cusper yeah you are a cusper you're a cusper He's a she's millennial. 97 i'm millennial no buddy. you're millennial but you're yeah but you're basically no but gen i'm cusp with millennial and whatever he you're boomer. way more gen z coded than you are to the old <laughs> you're way more gen z coded I, than millennial see, you think, i know it all no, i'm hip she is. i know it all oh. i know zoomer shit yeah and yeah. i know millennial shit and the reason mm. why is i have two sisters they're 20 and 22 mm-hmm one time I asked him what iced out meant a long time ago, and I ha- didn't hear the end of it. Definitely. Okay, well, that's not that's not a zoomer. Do you, do you know what iced out means? That's now? Like no, I do. Yeah. The, but what is it? It's like jewelry. Yeah. Iced oh, out. bling. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's that's an old term. The only iced out that he knows no, it, is when no, his parents some, don't talk to him. Ooh. Yeah. That's he really gets iced mean. out. That was not even a joke. That was just no. no I was just being honest. Oh. Okay. That wasn't funny for me. But here's I was the thing, being though. Real with you the, for a second. Here's the thing. I'm icing you out, bitch. You're going to make fun of me for this, but I feel mm-hmm. like I identify more with the millennials because I started kindergarten a year younger than everybody else. So everybody in my class <laughs> was older than me. Okay. Yeah. So I it was with the older people. How old were you? Four? Yeah. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. Were you like, would you get picked on by all the other five-year-olds? No. They no, they didn't know. Uh, I was smart. Oh. <laughs> I still am. I learned how to survive. True. <laughs> no, 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 but the thing is, the, the thing I is, I built like, a shank out of a crayon. No, like, I, <laughs> no, I was in community college classes at 16 years old. That uh, I, I kind of 15, 16 years old. I did. I did community college. Yeah. 15, 16. I made my brother do that because I realized that when I got into community college, I was like, "Yo, dude, you should do these." And he got a bunch of credits. While exactly. He was in high no. Yeah. So I was around a bunch, of, like a lot of older people growing up. So I feel like I identify more with like the millennial crowd, but I'm also like very up to date on everything. Heard well, that. The thing, the thing that I was watching the dude, he's he's got like a whole TikTok account about it. I wish I could shout him out, but I don't remember. But basically, he was saying that because millennials got out of like when I got out of uh, high school, there was no job opportunities, there was no houses to buy, there was nothing to do. So people are like staying with their parents later, they're getting married way later, and then Zoomers come out, and it's the same thing. Like people are not bu- Zoomers are not magically buying homes, they're not magically like getting a house. People are like. We're basically all stuck in this limbo where like, yeah, like you, <clears throat> most people like when they're millennials or whatever, you like you go, you have kids and you become like kind of old because like you don't care anymore. You have to like, you, you're too busy. You have to deal with your kids. You have to deal with your family. You have to work a job. But millennials and Zoomers have gotten so fucked by America that we can't do anything. So like millennials like us are starting fucking podcasts and making content. So they're keeping up with drama on the internet because what else are they going to fucking do? You go get a job. The houses are... Dude, where we live or this area, the average fucking home is a million dollars. Yeah. So you you have to walk out of into the job market. Wait, as you can a afford that? No. I can. You, no, you cannot afford that. I drove you here. Oh, let me ask you a question then, bro. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we had a conversation today about how we should not go out to restaurants because we're all poor. Yeah. And then, yeah. And then we have dinner plans after. <laughs> also, yeah, we have dinner plans now. I did. I just okay. She okay. I'm not gonna say the restaurant name because it's gonna it will like dox the location. But she said a restaurant that I was like, okay, I can't say no. Like right, I yeah, can't right, say right. no. And it okay. wasn't it wasn't bad. It wasn't bad. Okay. But I learned about what you're talking about kind of in my fertility economics class. Basically, people are getting married later. They're having kids later. Why? That's I, this why? is interesting. Yeah. Because everything is so fucking expensive now. People want wait, wait, hold on. Can I pull that back before I gotta ask you a question? Yeah. Fertility economics? Yes. Yeah. What? Put a price on that pussy, dog. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I'm telling you, like my focal area. How much those eggs go for, no. homie? <laughs> <laughs> the, I want some eggs in the black some market. Some people can dude. sell their yeah, eggs for ten thousand dollars an egg. Our fiscal over a year is crazy right now. <laughs> Rap year is like crazy shit. No, listen, you're losing your mind now. I didn't even explain what it was yet. What so, was it? No, I like I'm, Rav's explanation. No, I'm gonna go with that. It's basically <laughs> how often people are having kids and fucking. And, and putting a price on, on yeah, the kids. Yeah, no, I liked his explanation. Like, if I if I was looking for a class to take and it said put a price on that pussy dog, <laughs> I would be like, I want, that, one, dog. I want that class. 69 69 So 
fertility is so in this case it's defined as like the amount of kids people have per couple mm -hmm. so there's replacement value so they want every couple to have two kids <laughs> the way you said replacement value for a second i was like oh you replaced the kid and no yeah. that's, so they basically <laughs> want to keep the population yeah, yeah, at yeah. the same rate mm -hmm. it's like so, japan is going down yeah and, yeah mm -hmm. so they want people to have two kids per couple because like when they die off they have their two kids and so on. Yeah. But now America, I think, is at 1.6, 1.5 kids per couple, which is below replacement value because everything is so expensive. Well, hold on. Yeah. So we're How losing do you get point six of a kid. Like half of them is In cut the off. No, you're not. Like their not, legs don't work. It's just like, what do you mean? Have you ever point six of a kid? Like, OK, can I be honest? Yeah. You know how like you you have your brother very successful mm -hmm. and then you're kind of like a failure. Yeah. You're like the point six. Am I the point six because I'm not successful? <laughs> yeah. Is that how it is? Yeah. I'm asking her. <laughs> oh, is that no. what it is? It's so the reason the point six is average. Uh, <laughs> oh, I'm above real, average. Real, homie. Yeah. Ah, we already decided. <clears throat> but I'm average in Lebanon, so. I'm learning it, Chase. Are you hating us right now? <laughs> no. Do you guys like our new uh, pop covers, <laughs> pop filters? Let us know in the comments below. Uh, okay. But Wait, so continue. So, what, so fertility economics is just example. like... What's Japan's at? Uh, I don't know Japan's, but I know China. Okay, China, China had the one-child policy for yeah, years until yeah. like Terrible mid-2010s. The reason why they Keep added the two-child policy <laughs> mm -hmm. is because they needed the replacement value because they realized by 2050... The mm -hmm. age pyramid, which is basically the distribution of oh, they would the have population's more old people age. Than young people. They're gonna have more old people and more young people, and the working class that funds the social security is going to be significantly less than the people that need the funding. Mm. So that, it's gonna send them into an economic crisis if they didn't increase the replacement value. So that's why they introduced a two-child policy. So I had figured, I, I, I don't remember, but there was some part in American history that that had happened and it actually made the economy, like the people more wealthy because there was less people to work. So they paid people more and I forgot what it was, but basically there was just like, there was a job market crisis because there was just no young people to work and take those jobs. So they just started like people started getting paid more. Not that I'm saying that's a good thing. I think that that's, yeah. that's probably not true. I don't know. I just saw someone talk about it. But basically, like it, be it ruins the country because you need you have a bunch of old people aging in to like, hey, this is retirement time. Mm -hmm. And you have young people who can't replace those jobs. So basically, it just causes a massive economic issue. Right. But yeah. Because they don't the working class can't fund the Social Security right. benefits. Yeah. Um, but going back to like America and like the Gen Z millennial, we're not having kids because we're going to school. We're prioritizing our work. A lot of people have to take out student loans mm -hmm. and they want to. Focus on being financially secure before even starting a family or buying a home. You know. Yeah, it's a very it's a very self first kind of uh, <coughs> economy that we live in, mm -hmm. and China is very much work together. You know, yeah. work for the family. Um, Can't say that, dude. We're gonna get canceled by all. For the, what do you mean? A lot of people hate China. They're gonna. I love China. You love China. Love China. What do you like about dude. China? He you know. likes Mao. He likes Mao. Who's Mao? He doesn't even understand. He doesn't know politics. Who's he just Mao? hit him with something he doesn't know. Oh, is Mao the emperor? He literally asked me. We met Rashida to leave over the weekend. Okay. Yeah. And and we I did, didn't know we who did, she was. We did a benefit because we're trying to raise try to raise money for Palestine, yeah. and we're trying to you know keep our keep our Palestinians strong because we, mm -hmm. we don't want to we don't want to get bombed mm -hmm. anymore. And Raf goes. I'm really glad I just learned about Rashida to leave five minutes before we met her. Yeah, I had to learn about her. I didn't know. You didn't know? No. He doesn't know anything about politics. I'm not a, I'm not a huge politic person. Mao you know. killed landlords. Huh? Mao killed landlords. Is that an actor? <laughs> <laughs> what did you say to it me? Does did sound you say like Val a, Kilmer? Dude, the way you said it was like a rap lyric. Mao killed landlords. Bro, it's just murdered landlords <laughs> just on the spot. Just saw a landlord. was like, ah, you want a home? How much real estate do you own? Pop, 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 pop. You're dead. You know you can just take their land. You don't need to kill them. Yeah, wait, the land landlords? <laughs> <laughs> Are we being serious right now? I don't yes. understand. Landlords? <laughs> like, like lords? <laughs> Why? What's the reason? Yeah, Froggy, you can't just say that. You have to explain the politics. Do you not know? I don't know how to explain theory. <laughs> theory? Like that. What do you I mean? It's you just know, it's a belief. I'm a, I'm a fake leftist. Can I be honest about the leftist stuff? Yes. Okay, number one, I'm a, a quote-unquote leftist, but mm -hmm. I've always had the exact same opinions, and this whole theory bullshit, I hate it so much. Like, you don't even know theory. I'm like, fuck the theory. I just know policy. Like, what's a good policy to enact? Like, I don't care to be like, 
Who like string theory? No, not, like theory, not. dude. Fuck theory. They want you to read literature about what can be done, and it's just like motherfuckers want to think about what can be done, but never want oh, to put it into. They don't want to do that. That's what makes me so mad about like the leftist culture on the internet. Okay, I'm gonna go in. I'm going in. I don't give a fuck. They always talk about this bullshit of like, do you know theory? Do you know this? Do you read Lenin? Do you read? No, I don't. I know what fucking John policies Lennon. work. Not John. Yeah. To, Yes. From the Beatles? Yes. As we know, Raph knows a lot about I politics. Love Raph. John Lennon. Bro. <laughs> is it not is it not the Beatles though? Which Lennon? <laughs> Which Lennon? The Beatles. <laughs> is it the Beatles really? You, John Lennon. I'm remember, asking seriously. Do you remember when he got shot and do you he remember left his, his wife, Yoko Ono? <laughs> Who's butt crack? Oh, Yoko's in <laughs> John's. Yeah, dude. <laughs> Leftists on the internet are okay. very much about the idea. <laughs> Of being a leftist, and they love this term leftist. Thomas Lennon. I'm a social dude. Is I that hate... right? No, but is that right? I just know who Lennon is. I can't move on. I can't move on <laughs> until I know he's a philosopher, advisor, right? Yeah. Okay, we're good. I can't. I can't. Is it? I know Lennon. He's Russian, right? <laughs> is he? He's getting there. You're getting there. Am I getting there? You're getting there. Okay. Just read on. theory. You know, you gotta read. Why? You should. Okay. You sound so leftist right now. I'm so leftist, dude. I'm so leftist. I but learned here's, something. Here's the deal. The the thing about the whole leftist is I think that like I I, I hate when people are like like suck them or democratic socialist or leftist dem suck. You know. Huge I don't give headline. A fuck what your a fucking, huge headline. Bro, I don't care what you're fucking like on Twitter. I don't care what your policies are. Dude. Just just enact good policies. Let's just stop. Let's just start. Like, Which is why millennials can't fucking buy houses or Zoomers. Well, because they're more worried about the fuck it. They're more worried about tweeting than they are about actually going and doing dude, collective action. I love Twitter finger politics. They're really. I bad, got accused dude. of that by a YouTuber. Really? Twitter <laughs> finger politics. Oh yeah, that <laughs> uh, fat editor. She only loves Palestinians because she wants likes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. True. I, I get accused of that all the time. I get accused. You guys were. You guys. I I'm only doing it for the likes. You have tweeted nothing about Palestinians. You tweeted one time saying, I went on birthright, and I think that's a bad thing to do. He did more than other people did, so shut the fuck up. What are you talking about? I also had a tweet that said, uh, I'm a Jew, and I understand that the river Hold to the on. sea is not. I'm going to defend you even more. Tweet. Huh? Who hosted your Palestinian fundraiser while you were fucking asleep? That's true. Oh, he did. Yeah. But he was just doing it for the whole ice. <laughs> <laughs> I was doing it for the likes. No, so. you have you have tweeted this stuff. But the thing is, and, and and to be honest, someone like you who doesn't get involved in stuff like this or doesn't, you're not you're not politically. I don't have any stake. You, no, you, you. Wait, do I have stakes? You're. I don't know what Jew. I'm saying. I I, I do have stakes. You're right. <laughs> yeah. I do have a stake. I do have a stake. Bro, you're you're right. Lebanese. Yeah, like, you're right. You're right. You're, you're right. like I don't have any stakes. I go to Lebanon all the time. Beautiful country. It's beautiful there. Yeah, not anymore, buddy. Uh, no, but I um. Most of the stuff that I did and you've done and uh, now Raf has done has been outside of the internet. And then I think that when this, the when the Palestinian crisis happened, we had to. You have to use your platform for good. I mean, there's so many people that are now using their platform talking uh, about Palestine, and I think that you just you can't sit back and not do shit. You know. I failed a class in uh, my freshman year of college for talking about Palestine. Really? Mm -hmm. I think uh, what what class was it? Uh, it was a second year, <laughs> second semester lit. Uh, I was the only Arab in my class, which is kind of weird for my undergrad university. And he handpicked his topics and he gave me the Arab Israeli conflict. And I was like, yeah, I fucking know everything about it. Uh, and we had to present it. And I was talking about how they have like checkpoints and all that. He stopped me mid presentation. He's like, that's wrong. I've been to Israel multiple times. And actually, it's not that bad. He was like, you Ooh. didn't use like, he, so he's a Where Zionist. Was he? Yeah, in, Zionist. In, he was a Zionist. Are you, yeah. it, was there a lot of Zionists in Michigan? No. Or no, no. Not in Michigan. Oh, in your school. Oh, not yeah, yeah, even yeah. in my school because it's mostly like the the Arabs. So whenever I got hit with that, I was just like, "What the fuck?" Because I cited all my sources. Yeah. APA format, bitch. And he failed me on that paper, so I brought my grade from an A to a B fucking minus. Uh, we're uh, we hmm. uh, I did the same thing when I uh, applied for college. I wrote my uh, uh, what's it called essay, your admittance essay about uh, the Israel Palestinian conflict, and the schools that were more Zionist than the other ones were the ones that denied me, but my grades were good to get into those schools. Yeah, and I was like, oh, I'm gonna write like as a kid, I was like, I'm gonna write this, and I don't give a fuck if I go to the schools that if, you know I want to go to the schools that are like pro Palestinian because I was like about that cause, um, and um, I, I got denied from the schools that were clearly Zionist. I yeah. got denied from like a mid school in between the other schools, and I was like, oh, this is like. A Zionist read my paper, which at the time, like, 
now people kind of understand the Palestinian conflict, but at the time it was not popular when I wrote it, you know, like, dude, like, I feel like for me anyways, like Palestine was like the first political issue I ever learned about because growing up, like my dad had Al Jazeera on the TV 24 fucking seven. Like we were watching people <laughs> being blown up and dead bodies and all that, like in our childhood. So like, it's still shocking to see and jarring to see on the timeline now, but it's like as Arabs, we had to be exposed to that from such a young age so we can advocate for ourselves and know what's going on in our countries. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, it's like this this week they're doing the another strike or whatever, you know, and I'm like, I'm not going to like keep striking because my voice, like most of the things I talk about are pro-Palestinian and I'm educating people. And like for me, this isn't a strike. I'm not going to do anything. I like the education has been the most important thing. But like for me, uh, I worked on this issue my entire life. I've mm -hmm. been in advocacy groups. I've been in so many different things. I've done hundreds of charities. I've done protests. I've done everything. And my content on the internet had nothing to do with this. And it was just like my career, like I, I don't know if we've ever talked about this, but my career, my actual job was because of the Palestinian conflict. I thought if I go into this career, I would be able to support the Palestinians somehow. I, I didn't understand. Mm -hmm. I was young, you know? And I was like, I really want this. And people think that like this is like something new to me, but I am almost nearly an expert in this field because I studied it in undergrad and in grad school, this was basically something that I was like very adamant about. And I've had run-ins with people my entire life where with Zionists that have been horrible. So this isn't like something as an Arab that like all of a sudden magically I'm tweeting about or talking about is something that's fucked me up for my entire life. Right. It has fucked me up so bad. We went to a party the other day and Ham, you know, Ham and Cheddar's Jewish. He was very pro, he was pro the idea of Israel. He had the flag and everything. And he was, wrote that beautiful thing about like how he went and like how he took it down the flag and how he understands like for, like we had a conversation. He called me. For those of you who don't know, Ham and Cheddar's a, a streamer. He's another content creator. And we had a conversation and he was, <clears throat> he, when I met him, he had the Israeli flag behind him. He, his whole content is like about being Jewish and stuff like that. And uh, it wasn't me. It was like his own, uh, you know, understanding. But he took down the flag. We had a long conversation on the phone because he was like, how do you see the flag? He got he he really he really did an about face. You know, yeah. this is way before the con crisis. And yeah. then, you know, but we went to a party. So we, me and him were kind of on the same page of the, of the issue. So we ended up going to a party one day and we walk and talk to a group of people. It's content creator house. Mm -hmm. So, I, you know, I think safe space. So it's a bunch of Jewish guys and they're talking. I don't know if you weren't there that day. So we go up and they're like, <clears throat> you know, Jewish guy. I'm like, yo, what's up? What's up? And they're like, oh, we're all Jewish. And then they go, what about you? And they point at me and I go, I'm Palestinian actually, which is funny. Like I'm, you know, Memon. And he was just like, oh, so we're good, right? Like we're good. Mm -hmm. And I was like, what do you mean? Like, what do you mean? Like, I was just like, we're good. Like, yeah, we're good. And he was like, oh, okay. And I'm like, what the fuck do you think? I'm going to all the Akbar right here. Like, I just, I'm infiltrating. Like, but like that shit, like that's not the first time. And it's honestly caused me uh, skepticism and like almost like reverse anti-Semitism for me where I, I get scared to tell someone who's Jewish mm -hmm. that I'm Palestinian because I don't know the reaction. We've had this conversation, like your extended you yeah. know, family and uh, there's other friends of ours who are Jewish who've said the same thing. Like if just the fact that me like and Ham was saying the fact that you even exist almost feels like it's anti-Semitic to them, you know, like you're attacking them. And I'm like, homie, like, what am I going to say? I am Palestinian. Lebanese people and Palestinian people. I mean, they're next door to each other. We are very different. Mm -hmm. And you guys know I'm also Lebanese Christian. The Christian people hate Palestinians. So my entire life. The Lebanese people were telling me that like, oh, you're, you're Lebanese. You're not really Palestinian. You guys even heard that, too. You've heard mm -hmm. people tell me you're Lebanese. You're not Palestinian. You know why they're saying that shit? Because they fucking are racist towards Palestinians. Mm -hmm. They want them dead. They fought them in a war. So a lot of the things like when this shit's happening, this isn't something like white people kind of like no offense, white people, you know, you know, white, white, <laughs> males, white straight males. Like you guys don't get it. But the thing is, like, the, my existence inherently is political. Mm -hmm. There is no situation in which you could hide. You have a hijab on, okay? Your existence is political because you're Jewish and mm -hmm. you're Arab. My existence is political. No matter what I say, I'm always going to be a fucking Palestinian. No matter what I do. I cannot turn it off. I can't just magically go, oh, you know... And the times that I'm tweeting, sometimes I don't tweet and I want to tweet about something else or I want to do content somewhere else because I'm fucking tired. It, this doesn't start on October 7th. Exactly. I was going to say right. that a lot of people think that everything, oh, a lot of people think that everything started October 7th. For us, we've known about this our entire lives. My grandparents had to leave Palestine in 1948. 
I mean, I'm Lebanese, but they had a house in Palestine. Mm -hmm. My family history is kind of fucked. I don't know. Are they rich? But they yeah. Had a vacation home? Right vacation on Vacation yeah. home. Wait, on you your were land. the original colonizer? Yeah. No, no. On your land. So, um, because I always talk, to, uh, well, when I talk to my dad, I, I always would be like, how are like Teta and Jado old, older than Lebanon? Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, no. Literally, literally, people are like, my grandma is older than than Israel. Like, think about that. My grandma is older than the formation of Israel. Mm -hmm. And they're like, we were here first. I'm like, bitch, my fucking grandma's older than Israel. What do you mean you were here first? There was Jewish people there. There were Muslim people there. There were Christian people there. Yeah. And the craziest thing is they try to pin Muslims against Christians. They're like, oh, the Christians uh, were kicked out by the Muslims. What the fuck are you talking about? Dude, Rashida had a good speech yesterday. Her was speech, speech was great. I, I felt myself simmering a bit. I was like, damn, like. Can you summarize it a little bit? Because I missed a lot of it. I was dealing with stuff. No, uh, you weren't. I you weren't dealing with stuff. You I, were in. I, I was you getting were, whiskey. You were getting whiskey. Okay, but that was me coping. So, that was you coping. So, yeah. uh, so it was like a primarily Muslim event, and mm -hmm. obviously Muslims don't drink. So Capri wanted to sneak two whiskeys. So he was in the house without me. By the way, guys, without me. This is the, left me in there. Didn't the, know who Rashida events was. Events like this would make me the most Islamophobic. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> when I can't drink, I'm like, you know what? I'm done. <laughs> it's haram. No, but anyway, she was talking about. Um, how growing up, so she has 14 siblings. Mm, Apparently, she's the oldest. Wild. I mean, my dad has 17 brothers and sisters. Bro, that's that was very common. I'm gonna be for honest, like Arabs. Gamers aren't having sex, they need to learn from Arabs. True, yeah, true. They're like, Habib, I'll show you right now. Let me <laughs> test you out. Let me show you. Okay, so going. she talked about how she was always considered the problem child, and her mom would get mad at her because she was like a translator for her mom. Mm -hmm. And the big thing that popped off for her was whenever she infiltrated Trump's rally in 2016 i want to say and she asked him if he read the constitution and she, it went viral because like it was like multiple women like wait that was rashida yes mm -hmm. oh my god i didn't even think yes, about that yes that was rashida before she was even like in congress yeah um and she's like at that moment like her mom was like started getting proud of her like yeah like this is my bad bitch daughter. <laughs> <laughs> Look at my daughter. She did Trump. Yeah, she at, first she, Trump. at first she was mad, but when she, whenever she went to the mosque on Friday, everyone was everyone like was stoked. gassing Rashida up. Yeah, bro. Arab parents all, always look to the other Arabs to see if they're proud yeah. of you or not. Yeah. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're like, hey, they're like, your son is very good. They're like, okay, okay, yeah, actually he is very he is good. Great. Yeah, right he's great. Right before they hit you, they're like, yeah. hey, actually he is. Very smart. Yeah, like, I thought about it actually first. <laughs> like, <laughs> and she brought up a point you brought up that about like how her existence, especially in Congress, is a threat mm -hmm. to people, the Zionists, to people in general, and like it's always going to be political. And she was talking about how when they censured her, yeah, censured when they censured her, she felt very alone, and she had like the few Dems on her side, like on the floor, and they're like, "You better not fucking cry. They're gonna give them what you want." Yeah. Um. It was like the, like the older people, but yeah. She said that um, it's important for us to keep advocating for Palestinians even outside of like, the blackouts and like social media and everything because, at the end of the day, which I'm kind of shocked. Like, look at like what happened in Syria in 2014. Yeah. People talked about it on Twitter for two weeks. And they stopped. Mm -hmm. No, this is stopped. still going. Yemen talked about it for two weeks. Stopped. Yemen is dying. I don't think people realize it. Yemen's been they're dying being, for they're, the they're being time. starved. Yeah, no. The Yemen's... malnutrition rates in Yemen are insane. They're being blockaded. I feel like the entire Middle East is getting completely like eradicated right almost. Yeah, yeah. People it's don't so care. Bad. They honestly, I it genuinely, and I say this like, and I'm not fucking around. I think that we are the lowest class minority. Like we really are. I think people genuinely in the United States have been primed so much of Islamophobia that 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 even when I say that I'm a Christian Arab, you would think that I would get better treatment, and the treatment is, yeah, but maybe you could die. Like, yeah, you know, you know you're like, you're a dirty Arab. Yeah, I know. There's, there's, I just, I'm saying that in in the sense of like, they're so fucking brainwashed that like, when I was in high school, they used to ask me what kind of Christian Muslim are you. Mm -hmm. You know. Uh, yeah, I was gonna. I wanted to ask you too. We talked about this before, but like, like, fucking, what's his name? Hassan with the Houthi. Like people, like he interviewed the Houthi. Okay, but other news organizations. Explain the context. Well, you explain the context because I'm gonna be worse explaining the context. So, basically, a lot of countries in the Middle East don't really support Palestine. They pull out in their. They're no, complacent. every country in the Middle East loves to support Palestine in their newspapers and their articles, but nobody wants to fuck with the United States. So yeah. behind the scenes, they're all making deals with the U.S. 
and this is such a dangerous topic for me to discuss just because I want to be able to go back to Lebanon one day, but fuck me. Uh, I know that behind the scenes, a lot of these guys are working with the Israelis because they want to work with the United States. Because if you don't work with the United States, they will black you out. They will fuck your life up and they will destroy you. And the fact of the matter is, sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off. Rogan. It's just so frustrating, this shit. But like, yeah, dude. So a lot of countries pretend to like them. And the only people who are actually fighting the is, um, I'm sorry, pretend to be pro the Palestinians, but nobody really cares about us. Yeah. So it's typically the countries that are also being fucked with that are in support of Palestinians. Um, so one way people have been uh, being anti-Israel in the Middle East is blockading ship paths and taking over ships. And the people that were doing it in particular were the Houthis, which are Yemenis. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And there's one Yemeni kid. He's 19 years old. He went viral because everyone thought he was so hot. And they called him Tim Houthi. Chalamet. Chalamet. That's pretty funny. Yeah. So, he so does, yeah. He looks like a Johnny Depp little pirate. Uh, but uh, Hassan interviewed him mm -hmm. to kind of see, like, what are they doing out there? What's going on? And... And basically, uh, everyone accused them of platforming terrorism. Mm -hmm. and Because the U.S. added Houthis onto the list of terrorism again. They, actually, after the Houthis, the Houthis were oh, taken off. Really? Houthis were recently taken off. Yeah. They were just recently taken off the list. And then they put them back on after they did this with the ships. And they're doing this because they're saying because the Israel uh, because of Israel. They're blockading mm -hmm. Israel. They're not, mm -hmm. doing, they're not doing anything. But the, th th this is what the crazy thing to me is, is that the whole world can see that this is i mean the whole world i mean south africa is putting on genocide trials i mean they're putting on you know trials in the united nations everyone but america and its allies are going this is a this is a genocide right, right. and the fact is that now if you fight against the genocide the america labels you as a terrorist mm -hmm. and if yeah. you speak up against it they shut you down they will fuck your life up right now probably because of this podcast we are probably going to get be blacklisted we're it's they're trying they will ruin your life and all we're doing is saying and this is what we're saying don't kill civilians, mm -hmm. please. Just stop. That is fucked up. And I think that all lives are equal. If a Jewish life dies or a fucking Palestinian life dies, treat them the same. You know, like I, I, I and the fact is, if you fight the American army or if you fight the American military industrial complex, they fucking will tr just ruin your life. Right. So Hassan uh, interviews this guy, which other news outlets have. And everyone's like, look, he's a terrorist. He's a horrible person. And it's like, it's crazy because he's Muslim, because he's like Arab adjacent, you know, Turkish, that he gets a lot of heat that even the fucking leftist, dude, even the, le it's so disgusting because I know like, if you look at Hassan that way, how the fuck are you looking at us? Mm -hmm. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you look at a fucking Turkish, a white person in the Middle East that way, the fucking, another colonizer of us, motherfucker, he a colonizer. <laughs> Do you want me to tell you what Hassan talked to him about? What? One Piece. Oh, really? Yes. Well, they were like, you're humanizing him. But the issue is that you kind of need to humanize these rebel groups because dehumanizing them is causing more wars. It's causing more issues. I'm not saying that you're you're not trying to promote what, what bad things, right? Right. But if someone comes on and they're like, hey, it's because of Israel. like, I have a take that'll get us oh, canceled. I mean, I huh? mean, yeah. Yeah, what? People, oh, you know what? Is it going to get us canceled? It's my tweet I tweeted October 7th, I was going to say. People want, don't want people to fight back against power, against oppression until it actually happens. Okay, I get I get I get your October 7th tweet. Here's here's the thing. It's it's the same thing with like the BLM movement, you know, like when people were like rioting, they were like, "Oh, this is not the way to do it." But there's not really a good way to fight against oppression. Yeah, revolution is never going to be sexy. There's not a good way to fight against oppression. Again, you say this, and you said it a hundred times. No civilian should die. Yeah. Right? 100%. This, it's disgusting. You know, it's disgusting. But in my head, I've said this a thousand times. Who can I blame for October 7th? Israel. Every day. Because they funded these fucking guys. They they did the blockades. They've, they've caused extremists in Gaza from fucking blocking them off and cutting off their food, their fucking water. They do. They, they smuggle in Gaza KFC through tunnels, <laughs> KFC. You can't get fucking KFC. And they're like, no, that's, that's, that's their fault. I'm like, no, it's not. My mom tried to go into Gaza. They told her no. I mean, even like Palestinians even tried protesting peacefully. People ended up dead. They shot them when they protest yeah. peacefully. There's no, like you put, you created extremism. And then when extremism bites you back, 
you cry and go, well, why would you do that? It's like, dude, everyone sees it now for what it is. Did you know that most of the people in the in Hamas are orphans? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The, the thing is, like, here's the deal. You don't want Hamas as ruler, right? Yeah, no, You don't of want Hamas not. as ruler. I don't want Hamas, obviously. Everyone wants... I want a secular society. I don't want a religious society in Israel, and I don't want a religious society in uh, Palestine. That's disgusting to me, personally. Mm-hmm. Uh, the idea of having a Jewish state, to me, is insane, because if you have a state that's just for a certain people, you are then excluding other people, creating, therefore, an apartheid state. Yeah. You know? Yeah. I remember back in the day, Hanan Ashrawi, she's a big advocate for Palestinians. She mm-hmm. was like, they're like, you don't say there's no Jewish state. She's like, I don't want any state that's an ethno state. The idea of an ethno state is insane because then slippery slope down that fucking hill. What about a white Christian nation? We don't have one of those. We need one of those. Let's get a white Christian nation. White people are oppressed in some places. They want it. Some mm-hmm. I know they want, want it. it. The people who fucking comment bad shit under these podcasts are the people who want a white Christian nation. Motherfucker, do you really white people? Okay, white Christian people. You really want to go out and only see the same motherfucker that can't dance? I don't want to do that. They want to be in that episode of SpongeBob wherever Squidward moved into the ethno state and he'd be like at the grocery store riding his bike, playing the clarinet. He got fucking bored. He got bored. And depressed. Remember that? Yeah. I mean, the thing is like having multicultural stuff, you get different ideas, you get different opinions, you get different like you it's it it's always better. It is mm-hmm. never worse. You know what actually bothers me sometimes about going to Lebanon? It's the same motherfucker copy and paste it a thousand times. You know what I'm saying? I feel like I want to go. <laughs> <laughs> She's an ethno state fan. You know what? White people, we're back on your side. Let's do it. <laughs> you know what, Israel? I'm on your side now. Dude, it's weird with in Lebanon, like legitimately, everyone looks the same. They all talk the same. They're all kind of the same. It's wild. Here's the thing though, I I grew up around diversity, but also not really because I lived among so many fucking Arabs that like... It's not good, right? No. It's not good. The idea of being in a place that's just for you is not good. I love that I live in California. If I want to go to Arab Street and have some Arabic food, I'll go to Arab Street. I want to go to Vietnamese Street, I go to Vietnamese Street, okay? If I want to have Chinese food, it's there. I had Ethiopian food the other day. I can do whatever I want here. But when you go to like certain countries, they're like, ah, oh, man, we don't have that. The, the the mixture, the melting pot is the greatest thing ever. Yeah. You know, it's like the fact that we could sit Jew, Muslim, Christian in the same room. Obviously, none of us are religious, but I'm just saying hypothetically. And that is more beautiful and amazing than the fact that it's like, oh, welcome to the state where we all look the same. You're going to feel welcome here because we're all the same. It's like, fuck, dude, you want to live in the fucking Truman Show? I'm going to put Raph in a little Jewish Truman Show. You know, please. In Israel. <laughs> I need the clout. <laughs> I need the experience. How was Lebanon when you went? Great. Yeah, we were talking about this. Was it the was it the last pod, or were we just talking about this on stream or something about like how they think there's like crazy anti-Semitism in Lebanon when you like walk around or something in the Middle East? And I was like, I think you I think you said it in one of the po- in one of these episodes. Yeah, there's yeah. not anti-Semitism really at all. No, it's weird. I mean, to be fair, I didn't like outwardly go, "I'm Jewish, I'm Jewish." Look at me, look at me. You know what they really don't like there? Also, the village the village that I was living in at that time was. They knew they knew my last name, oh, okay. you know, like yeah. I was I, my my father was well known in that in that village. Yeah. So and a lot of those people were like cousins or like cousins, cousins or cousins, cousins, cousins. So like it wasn't really like that big of a problem for me. But like I said, like I'm not wearing like a fucking star on my chest. You know what I mean? So I mean, that's but, there, but even then, like it wasn't if you brought it up. Like obviously, my mom is a white woman in Lebanon. Yeah. Nobody really gave a shit at all. Nobody cares. Yeah, nobody they, cares. You know what? They, they they love America. Yeah. They fucking they fuck with it so heavy. Yeah. It's wild. They, it's so funny. Like Calvin Klein. You know how it's like popular now. Mm-hmm. It was way popular there first. So like there, like the logo, like you know how you have like the bra with the Calvin Klein. They were doing that like ten years ago. That was their thing, and like you could sell that shit there for like sixty dollars for a piece of underwear that you could have got at like TJ Maxx here, and then like now. It's popular here again, which is why, right, right. like, uh, that's fucking crazy, dude. I didn't even uh, know about that. Uh, speaking of uh, Jewish hate, uh, the uh, uh, you, our favorite uh, person, Kanye West, got uh, titanium grills. I think that's fake, Raph. You were telling me about it. I don't think it's fake. I think it's fake. I mean, Frogan was also saying that it was fake, but I think it's insane that he has titanium teeth. He looks like... He looks he looks like a grandma. <laughs> you know Dude, what I mean? He bugs me so fucking much. He, he's just, like he's obviously just, for the racist stuff, but yeah. he reminds me of a person I fucking hated growing up. 
Yeah, and Kanye. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going to say, dude, like, the only album that was good was his, you know, Graduation. graduation. Yeah. I, like all it's not even that that good. People think he's like so amazing. Yeah, he's he's not his. Okay, sample like he just takes other people's songs and sample them. I'm sorry, bro. Like it's it's good, but it's not that. Type. I mean, like it was revolutionary for when he came up. Yeah, sure, yeah, yeah, but like yeah. that's why graduation was so great. But these other albums, I'm like, okay, well, whatever, dude. Like not for me. Anyways, yeah, dude. He has apparently he got like full titanium dentures, like like veneers, basically. Did they file his teeth down? I don't think they did because he also used to have. Back in the day, he used to have like diamonds and like uh like plated teeth on the bottom on his bottom row, and they didn't change anything mm. there. I think they literally just kind of put it over it. They but look they stupid. said it was permanent. Yeah, it looks it, it looks stupid. Like there's no definition of the teeth. It's literally it looks. He like, wanted you know what fangs. it looks like? You know what it looks like? He, he put what? the Cybertruck in his fucking. That's mouth. what I was saying. Yeah, he looks like Cybertruck. Yeah, you know what it looks does. like. You know, look, whenever you're kids, do you ever take like the the gum Vampire? wrapper yeah. and then just like put it over your teeth. Yeah. yeah. He it was like, give me the gum gross. wrapper. <laughs> give me the gray gum wrapper. Every teeth. time I think about it, like my teeth hurt. Like they just like, they feel oh. so uncomfortable. Yeah, what is it like eating with that? Like, Oh, it's a gross. And it's like smooth, you know, there's like no grooves or anything. <laughs> <laughs> producer Scoot. Yeah, you just ASMR Scoot. <laughs> you just ASMR <laughs> producer, <laughs> producer Scoot. <laughs> and it, like, he gave us, he's giving us the biggest stink <laughs> face. Scootish, can you hear me? Scootish, can you hear us? For you viewers. This guy's just like a walkie uh, talking for one person. Yeah. Hey, Scootish, I'm not going to. They can't hear me. They can't okay. <laughs> Scootish, you're really hot. And I'm gonna say it too. Stop <laughs> bullying him. Okay. Raph and I talked about it briefly today. His clothes, fucking ugly. Dude, I don't understand Yee's clothes, dude. Like, not, they are tra trappings. Why would of a I want to wear, dude? It's like, it's like, it's like potato sacks. That's all it is. Exactly. Why would I want to wear a potato sack? I have a pair of Yeezys, but I didn't buy them. My sister gave me them. Mm -hmm. Kind of mid. Yeah, dude. And they're too big on me. They were they were in fashion for like the style was big when it came out for yeah, a while. And now it's yeah. gone. Now it's gone. Now it's so dead. why do you still wear your Yeezys? Because the, they're cool. Yeah, my dad got them for me. They're nice. They're like custom. They're custom. They're mm -hmm. not Yeezys. They're just like... They, I never... Have you owned real Yeezys, like his shoes? Yeah, she does. Oh, you had the real shoes? Okay, well, I don't have Yeezys. I have... I have Adidas that look like Yeezys. That's yeah. I have Yeezys. Okay, well, I'm sorry to flex. Okay, we just talked about how we're poor, and then you wanted to be I like. I just told you, my sister gave me them for free. She okay. got them in yeah, size eight men's, and they're way too big. I wear size six and a half. I can put my feet in size eight men. Ew, ew, dude. Do you guys like my socks today? Yeah, they're <laughs> my nice. My foot cramped. Yep, there it goes. Yeah. Do not, dude. Stop. <laughs> Dude, foot cramping. Have you guys ever wanted to fight somebody really bad, but you can't fight the person because they're your co-host and best friend? Yeah. yeah. Why do you want to fight Raph? Yeah. I'm good. I had this great topic about Kanye. It was a good topic. I, well, but I'm sorry. Go ahead. No, I I was I wanted to address something on the pod because I thought it was really like it needed to be addressed. What? Say it. We pissed off Lebanon. <laughs> we pissed Wait, off Lebanon really let him bad. Finish his oh, Kanye. Finish oh, we Kanye. did. Finish we your did Kanye. piss off Lebanon. We did. I just want. I'll bring it up in a second. But to finish your Kanye. Chat. Stop. We did. We did chat. <laughs> <laughs> chat. <laughs> chat. Put a one down below if we piss off Lebanon. I ruined everybody. Oh I God. ruined everybody. Uh, but you were saying something else about Kanye when we were talking about it. I mean, I think I think the teeth are real. I, oh I, I don't yeah, know yeah. Why, I want. Yeah, I want to. I don't know what that. the. I, I don't know. Somebody else said that the teeth weren't real, but I, I read that. something that the doctor said the teeth were real, and then somebody said the doctor you know. wasn't. We'll see in a couple weeks. We'll see in a couple weeks. We'll see what happens. Because there's no way that's something going to be like, like if I had yeah. silver ass teeth like Gypsy Rose, I'd be sick of that he, shit. He's really just spending money on whatever the fuck he wants to spend Dude, his money on. Bro, I wish he's I was that crazy. Rich. Like he's like ah Elon, ha got a, <laughs> ha Elon got a cyber truck, ha now I got one in my mouth, ha. Is that your Kanye impression? Uh, yeah, the ha. Uh, yeah, the other one I don't, I don't know how to do Kanye. He does kind of do the. Hm. He does. Yeah, it's like, hi. <laughs> yeah, hi. Maybe he's life, Jewish. life, life. Maybe he's anti-Semitic. Maybe, he maybe, he, oh, maybe he's inside, just, maybe inside, he's Jewish. Yeah, maybe he's Jewish inside. But maybe inside. he just hates himself. Yeah, but inside he's Jewish. He doesn't love himself. He's very depressed. You could tell, right? Yeah. I mean, look at what he's doing to his new wife. Yeah. What is he doing to his so new wife? So I saw a tweet on the timeline today. Yeah. It was like ever since somebody mentioned how much he hates Kim Kardashian for leaving him, he humiliates his new wife, which is a Kim Kardashian lookalike. 
in random fucking ways. And in this video, this bitch isn't wearing shoes at a mall. She's wearing short shorts and she's wearing a bra that just covers the nipples in public. Like she's she's never in clothes. Like if you don't want if you want to be naked, yay, slave, whatever queen, go off. But like everybody knows that Kanye dresses uh his partners. Does he really? Yeah, like he dressed Kim. Oh, oh, did he, he like makes you? He puts. I the did not know on. that. Yeah, actually. he used to he style. Does that? He used to style Kim. Oh, okay, mm-hmm. dude. Ooh. That's why she was boring for a while. Oh yeah, she was kind of boring for a while. Oh, and she was like, "Yeah, Kanye is my inspiration, and he dresses me." <laughs> how are people dating him? If I had a sinner, I don't care about how much money you have, or I, I just don't do the money thing to me. I don't care about money. Do you really do the money thing? No, don't do the money thing. Don't do the money thing. Money? Do the money no, thing. No, he, he's doing the money thing. He's telling you to do. I'm the telling money. you this is the reason. Okay, I'll do it. Why are people dating him though? It doesn't make any sense. The fact is, like, I wouldn't want to be with someone who's like literally telling me what to do. It's so weird. Why are you still doing the money thing? Because I'm just. This is. It's the- clear that you're not a sub. Oh, uh, uh, not a sub. Uh, Domination well, well, nation. I'm a high fiving that one. Okay. Capri's right. and switch. Okay. I took a test once. I took a couple tests on the internet. And you're a brat. I passed them all. <laughs> <laughs> Capri is, I know. <laughs> Dude. Um, but so what? You think he, he's like torturing his wife and like humiliating her through, like by proxy? I will Why is everybody swoon? doing the whole proxy thing now? Oh, by proxy is in. Everyone's pri- by proxying. And I I'm took sick a of shit it. today by proxy. It's like a power move to part. I didn't shit yet today. Yeah, well, you took it by proxy. I shit. <laughs> yeah, well, you actually, thought about it. You, you shit in the bathroom. So does Kirsch, so to be. This is not a, a good I podcast. You don't topic. know anything about me today. No, but so I, I read that tweet and it kind of planted the seed in my head. What was the tweet? Mm-hmm. What was about that, that one, the yeah. humiliation. I was like, huh. Because why the fuck would you be with somebody that looks exactly like your ex wife? Even if you like go to his Instagram page now, you kind of like see his wife, his now current wife. Kind of like dress like really it's just it's just her. It's all just her and she's always like you know, naked or half naked. We'll, we'll or, which is guys. which is fine. You know what I mean? If she's like like if she's doing na- being naked and half naked on, on main, that's fine. I don't care. Like that's awesome. More well, power too. But like she's also like wearing like almost like a gimp mask in one of them. So he's oh wow. He's dressing. You know her? what I mean? Yeah. Like that I one, think, like yeah, we, yeah. You guys think? I mean, like she could do be wanting to. Do but that. that's his. That's his page, it and there's like only. Style. It's his page. Oh, there's only like four photos on mm-hmm. there. Yeah, it's weird. And it's all her, like in those outfits. I'm not. I'm, to be honest, anyone who's dating Kanye, you, you get you get the fucking smoke, dude. You're dating literally a fucking. Oh yeah, you know what you signed up for. Yeah, no, yeah, fuck this, you. This like, is what I was telling you about what she was wearing in public. She's not wearing any fucking shoes. Yeah, nah, dude. Well. Put this nah, video dude, up. I I I I, I kind of feel I, I I'm with the tweet now. I'm with the tweet. Yeah, and the tweet says since I have it up, it says, ever since someone says he hates Kim for leaving him so much, he projects onto her lookalike by publicly humiliating her as if she's Kim. I have never been the same. Yeah. Yeah. No, I feel I feel the same thing. I feel the same way. I'm I'm on I'm on the side. Also, you're dating a racist. Like you don't get you don't get his way. Right. He's publicly like doing uh, Holocaust denial, Ju- Jewish hate. And then he's like flip flopping. And also, yeah. Kanye, nobody wants you on the Palestinian side. Okay. Don't don't fucking come on our side. We yeah. Don't, we don't want you. Okay. Get the fuck out. Yeah. Like literally. Even DJ Khaled's not coming over here. So. DJ. <laughs> DJ DJ Hara, bro. <laughs> yo, yo, DJ Khaled. Yo, make a statement, dog. Don't don't be a bitch, dude. Make a statement. Dude, I fucking dare you, you little bitch. Celebrities in Hollywood are going off. Oh, are are they? A lot of them are doing the ceasefire thing. I've been watching the ceasefire tracker. How come I? Well, no, those are I? those are other those are other actors. Some of them are uh, the video thing you're talking about, right? Wait, which one are you talking about going on? Where they were reading the. Some actors are reading the uh, the statements from the South African. Um, oh, Union. the Game of Thrones one. Yeah, dude, I wanted to talk about that. The Gal Gadot shit. Someone was like, I think it, it was, was Caroline. Caroline. Yeah, yeah. It was like Gal Gadot put together a fucking imagination for COVID, but these guys read the actual South African. Yeah, like the, the case do- against case. Israel mm-hmm. for genocide because they weren't that showing it. That was so fucking cool. It was cool. That was so cool. That that was really oh, cool. I didn't see that. I'm gonna rewatch Game of Thrones now. Uh, you the can whole check Game it out. Th- you can check it out on. Uh, I know Caroline. Caroline's Twitter has. Uh, it's awesome. They read the whole Game of Thrones cast. Read the. The case against Israel for uh-huh. uh, apartheid. 
Damn. And I was like, and, and then Caroline was like, look, Gal Gadot put together a fucking imagination because she's fucking pro Israel idea. Imagine yeah. all the people. Dude, we'll stop COVID this way. We'll just all sing Imagine. Dude. That's John Lennon, right? That's what we were talking about yeah, earlier. It's the, same po- it's the same political guy. Right. Why oh. did they sing We Are the World before? Yeah. Why? Was to it AIDS? No. It, no, it, it wasn't AIDS. It wasn't AIDS? Why did they do We Are the World? Was it Hurricane? No, it wasn't Hurricane Relief. I think it was the second one. Dude. The first one, We Are the World. We are the Hurricane children. Katrina. They're, dude, listen, I have a story if about If you know, put world. it down in the comments yeah, below. Let actually us respond. Oh. Yeah, there we go. That's how we're going to do it. Can I have it. a trauma story about We Are the World? You can, but we do have to address the Lebanon thing in a second. Okay, so it relates to Arabs. So my school, elementary school, used to do fundraising dinners every year. Mm-hmm. Because they knew they could milk the rich people because tuition was like seven fucking thousand dollars per mm-hmm. student. So every year we had to perform a song. What song? They would pick a random one. Okay. I got picture. We, our class got "We Are the World," and we had to audition for that shit. And I got I got one of the main parts, and I was so fucking excited to learn it. Really? Okay. Then the dumbass sheikh in the school, which is a religious fucking leader. Yeah, a said, sheikh. It's, I, I don't it's know what haram. Sheikh is. You can't sing. It's music. I spent weeks memorizing this fucking song, going to practice for this stupid fucking song. Uh-huh. All because this song. dumbass motherfucker was like, oh, it's haram. We can't sing it. And then we had to sing a song that was like, we love Muhammad. Oh, yes, we do. But then how can you sing it he if it's music? He is a prophet. They're saying to we are the world true. is haram because of Michael Jackson. <laughs> Dude, but I was pissed. I had that shit memorized to date. Did people hate Ma- Michael Jackson back then? There comes a time where we hear she a almost certain forgot it. call. She almost forgot that one. Where the world mm-hmm. must come together as one. 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 <laughs> the people one. dying the people go. Di- Keep singing. It's time Times to take, take a stand for, for the life. life. The, the greatest, greatest gift, gift of all. We can't go on, on. <laughs> pretending day, 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 day by day. Something. Something. But anyways, I don't know why. Something. I don't remember Something. the rest of it. We should just edit the pod right there because that was yeah, beautiful. Yeah, that was beautiful. But yeah, beautiful. you know beautiful. what? We are the world, except when it comes to Lebanese people. True. We are. We are the. We are the Western world. <laughs> no. <laughs> Understand how we are the white world. No, they, listen. We, we are, are the crackers. <laughs> <laughs> no, listen. The thing is, don't believe it. We're all Lebanese people here. Yeah, and we created enemies with our own fucking people. Dude, we did. We did. We did. We reacted to Kung Fu Jesus last week, and we got a lot of hate. From shout like, out to Anthony Sargon. Yes, yeah, so Anthony Sargon Again, got us in trouble. Two podcasts. Yeah, two podcasts. Yeah. Shout out yeah, Anthony dude, Sargon. It was so funny. Uh, the funniest thing is I realized I. I haven't lived in Lebanon in a while, but I realized how incredibly unfunny some Lebanese people are. They were like, what is this? Why are I they mean, making fun of him? you look in the mirror every day. <laughs> that was good. Thank you. That was a good job, dude. Thank I'll you. tap you up for that one. Yeah. <laughs> take off your hat and show everyone who you really <laughs> Bitch, are. Bitch, I'll take your hat off. <laughs> 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 your little cookies hat. You eat edibles, huh? I do drink little cookies. I made a cookie. You eat edibles? We... I we want to say, just to make it clear, we love Kung Fu Jesus. We, we, love, Joseph. we love Joseph. Marhab. I'm going to say it in Arabic because some of them don't get it. Yeah, go okay. ahead. Okay, okay, no, 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 you know, Kung Fu. I creeped him literally. Jesus. Okay, the reason why it's fresh is because Anthony posted a picture with him, I think, like this morning. No, that's oh, right. true. Yeah. <laughs> no, dude, it was, uh, we were laughing at the video because it's funny. Like, if you can't laugh yeah, at it's yourself, funny. it's funny. It is funny. Like, you're going to do Kung Fu in the mountains. It's you funny. We love him. Yeah. I want to do Kung Fu in the mountains. So I wish anyways, I could. but I'm going to say this in Arabic for all the Arabic people. Nah, nah. Anna zabarik tirik bir. Did he say suck my dick? Jesus. Dude, his accent in Arabic is so terrible. <laughs> okay, no, I was doing it. Okay. <laughs> it sounds like you got you had Zika virus virus. <laughs> Your head was small. <laughs> Uh, what? Well, I'll smell. 
هيدا اسمه فروجن لا اسمي اسمي راف وهيدا راف هو يهود مش مش طيب يو كان سي ذا يو كان سي ام ا باد يهود يو كان سي ذا هو راف هو واو يو كان ثينك اوف سمثينج نايس تو سي ذا هو هو كثير طيب هو ام اي راف العين العين يا جميل العين فيري حلو هو حلو كثير هو معنا ابو زبر يا يا هون راف هو تفاح العين. Oh, you're the apple of my eye. Thank you for saying that. That's only nice shit I know how to say in Arabic. That's so okay, nice. I'll, dude. Capri? Uh, yep. Is my poopy. <laughs> We're going to get canceled. Who? Who? Please. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, he said my butt? Tease a kbir. Big, big tease. I'll, I'll tell you a good one. Raf, halib a zabr tiktir tayo. Do you say I'm a tasty penis? What's halib? <laughs> oh yeah. Wait, what'd you say? He said the milk of your dick is good. Bleep that all out. <laughs> Bleep all that out. <laughs> Bleep all that out. I'm Bleep good at all that I'm out. good at everything. Bleep, Bleep all of that out. That's not even a, that's not even a thing they say. I made that shit up. They that is say that. gross. Yeah, I didn't know how to say the bad that's word. That's gross. But I made it up. Okay, a lot of you. Did you like it? It's very sexy. I feel so uncomfortable right uh, now. Yeah, anyways, Lebanon, we're joking. We're, we're sorry. Joking. We, we love, love you. you. We See, love you. I was nice, and he made it weird. I did. I did. Uh, I think that that's... I think that... I think that that's the... Uh, well, the, wait, 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 wait a second. What made you think of that? Why that phrase? I don't know I how to... What are you... What's on your mind? I don't know how to say... I don't know how to say the bad stuff. I don't know how to say sex stuff in Arabic because nobody taught me that. You think my dad's going to be like, let me teach you the bad words. Dude, somebody, a man taught me how to say dick in Arabic. He whispered it in my ear. I'm not going to say who. Excuse me. If I say who, bleep it out. A random man? No. Don't, Giraffster, bleep the name. What? He taught me how to say it in Arabic. That's insane. Yeah, that name. Thank God, dude. (laughs) You didn't call the police then, huh? Okay, anyways, All right. uh, this was... I was uh, legal. Okay, yeah, cool. Barely. Uh, yeah, okay, this is, this is all getting cut. <laughs> uh, this part's all getting cut? No, yeah. it's funny. Just bleep his name out. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> dude, you're so pleased you have with yourself so much right trauma, now. dude. You're just dumping I it. I didn't consider it traumatic. Yeah, you should. You need therapy. And that's why we need to sponsor. Dude, you trauma dumped. Better help, please. Better help, he trauma dump with Capri one time, and he's like, "Oh, you have trauma." Yeah, he uses you, it against you. You're him. trauma dumping. Okay, uh, we're going. F- we're going off the rails. Frogan trauma dumps some horrible shit right before we get to IKEA. <laughs> like some shit, I need to hold Frogan and cry. <laughs> I need to cry. And Frogan goes. <laughs> Frogan goes. Well, that's my trauma. I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> dude? I, did, I did with. I can't believe how normal I am. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I looked at her. I was like, "This indicate this moment right now. In case that you are not normal, because you just hit me with that some crazy shit, and you're like, oh, what's up? It's good. You know, let's get let's get this fucking rug for the set.' <laughs> and we got two rugs, bitch. She hit me with some shit that like you only see in photos of Gaza. And she goes, she literally goes, well, that's my trauma. I was like, oh, I was like, yeah, <laughs> yeah. And you can find out what that trauma is on the Patreon episode. Yeah, that you can. Out. The Patreon oh. might be launching next week. Ooh, little birdie. If, if you mm-hmm. guys want to sub to the Patreon, comment the word Patreon down below, and we will like it. Okay. Also, Capri will like it. Yeah, all I I love. I, I we read every single comment and we do respond to all the comments. Uh, Except the ones calling me a man. They were saying they were, st- but they said, "What's up, man? What's up, man?" You know how people say, "What's up, man?" They, act, you know what I'm saying? Like, what's yeah. up, man? What's up, man? Are yeah. you are you sad about people calling you a man a lot? <laughs> people have been calling me a man lately, and I don't get it. Cause it's because you're it's because you're a dommy mommy. Yeah, you're very dominant. They you're want very you dominant. Oh, They're no. subs. <laughs> I'm not a dommy mommy. You are a dommy mommy. You yeah. have a dominant there are a lot personality. Of subs. You're very I dominant. took the test. Uh, what where did you end up? I know where she ended up. Okay. <laughs> and you'll find <laughs> no out on the Patreon you. episode. No, yeah. We'll, we'll, all take, yeah. we'll all take the test. I want to say some episode. other bad stuff, but you can find it out on the Patreon. Ended up. Would you? Yeah, yeah. The test. Uh, uh, anyways, subscribe, like. If you're on uh, Spotify, do that. Uh, follow Raffle Ticket. Frogan and Capri Sun Poppy on all platforms. Uh, this was a great episode. We only had uh, trouble. At, we have had trouble every single week we have filmed this podcast, but we are ready 
to film Just some good go shit for, for you. So guys, uh, sub down below. And also, if you send one of your friends this episode, we'll cry. But anyways, yeah, we, end, thanks, this, we end this the same way we end every podcast. Sing it. <laughs> sing it. Are you ready? Yeah. You got your, knee, your old man knees ready? That's hurting. Yeah, sing it. I'm trying to block my dirty socks. Don't do that <laughs> again. Don't, don't do that. <laughs> 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 All right, we'll catch you guys bye. later. Bye. See ya. Bye.